By 1865, the Civil War had thoroughly devastated the South. Augusta, Georgia, lying on the South Carolina state line near the city of Aiken, was an economic stronghold and strategic necessity for the Confederate Army, who would fight bitterly to save both the city and the supply line that ran through neighboring Aiken. It is nearly a century and a half later, February 24, 2007. Today it is a battle without bullets, a conflict without consequences, a reenactment. The dead have long ago fallen, leaving onlookers to witness only empty actions, the ineloquent portrait of moments that might have been. Or is there something poetic within the spectacle, within these men that devote their time, money, and spirit to emulating the conflicts of their ancestors? Who are the men of Civil War reenactments? I'm uh, Leland Milton, and I'm the captain of the Georgia 5th Cavalry Company C. As far as reenacting goes, I probably do it about 100 days a year as far as actual reenacting. Why does he do it? Well, he has a lot of reasons, but I think he feels that personal connection to the people that fought and died in that war. And he's gone through a lot of hard times. I guess my reenacting days actually started back when I was a child. Growing up in a small town where I had a lot of little friends to play with, we all was in a pretty close community. But my best friend was a young man named James, and everybody nicknamed him Hotshot. And uh, me and Hotshot used to play out in the yard and stuff, and we played cowboys and Indians, and you know we were frontiersmen going out to fight grizzly bears and stuff. And lots of times, I act like I got shot, or, or a grizzly bear hit me or something, knocked me down, and I'd be laying on the ground hollering for help. I remember a few times he drug me all the way across the yard because my mama got on to me for having so many grass stains in my clothes. Then a hot shot one day, act like he was hit, and I just kept on fighting the Indians. I didn't go help him or anything, and you know it just got me thinking. You know, as I got older, that uh, friendship is something that you really value, and you need to be willing to to do whatever it takes to save a friend's life. He would go all the way for his friends. He would definitely, friendship is very important to him, as well as all of us. Uh, a lot of people don't understand um, about the battles. They say, well, my God, why do they stand side by side and just shoot at each other? These men went out on the field and they lived together day in and day out. They fought together and it hurts to see a friend fall, especially when one moment you're talking to him, and then all of a sudden you hear a blab boom, and he's gone. It happened a long time ago, but I know it still affects him. One day I got a call from him and a, uh, another friend of mine. Uh, we're out driving around, but for some reason, uh, the other boy, lost control of the vehicle that they were riding in and it struck a telephone pole and Hotshot was killed instantly from what I understand. And like I said, I still can't believe it when, when people tell me that he's no longer here, he's dead and gone. And 
it really really hurts when I do my reenactments I try to portray uh, exactly the friendship that me and Hotshot had because I want to show people how the men felt that were actually fighting the battles and show the people that these men who died they had lives and they were living breathing human beings and they just felt like that they were doing what was right The only difference between me and the guys who actually fought or hot shot, my close friend, is that I may fall down, take a, a hit, fall on the battlefield, and folks say, oh my God, you know, that man's dead. But then, shortly thereafter, I hear them words, resurrect, and it don't come from God, it comes from another commander. and. That means I can get up, brush myself off, and say, man, we had a good time. But them boys that died out on the battlefield, and like Hotshot, they're dead. And the only way that I can pass their history on or pass their knowledge on is by me studying and trying to teach other people.